Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem in linked list. So the problem is remove duplicates from an unsorted linked list. So it's it's quite similar to the previous problem which we did remove duplicates from a sorted linked list. So if you have not seen that video, I'll show I like hi, highly recommend that please watch that video first because you'll understand why we can't use that approach in this question, right? So let's move on to the question. So uh, in this question, we just need to remove duplicates from the linked list, but this time the linked list is unsorted, right? So let's take an example and understand the problem. Like for example, we are given this linked list, right? We are given this linked list and then that. So now we need to remove the duplicates from the linked list. So there are two duplicates like let's do one thing. Let's maybe over here. Let's do like this. and then two right so the duplicates can be at different positions it's not necessary that they'll be adjacent to each other right so this is a clearly a no, or not unsorted linked list it's not sorted right and we need to remove all the duplicates so I think you can get the like you, you will be able to uh, uh, like guess what will be the output so output will be five then we'll have two then three but then we'll not have two because already two ha as is there in the linked list. So now four will come and then that. So this will be the output, right? So if you have watched the previous video, then you will be able to understand now why that approach can't be used over here. So the reason why that that approach can't be used over here because is that over in that approach, we were, we were like checking if this value and this value are like same if they were same then we were like they were we were eliminating this node right and we were connecting this with this but over here since they are not sorted it so this implies that the values which are same are will not be adjacent to each other right they will be at different positions so that approach cannot be used over here right so now let's see what approach we'll use over here and how we can get to that so see whenever whenever like someone like ask you to check whether in an array like we have an array suppose this is our array and I ask you you have to check whether there are duplicates in this array or not right whether there are duplicates in array or not so what comes to your mind if you can know somehow that two exist two times three exist two times then you can easily tell okay since 2 is existing 2 times so obviously it has duplicates right so for that you use a hash map right we use a hash map because in hash map we can store the count of a particular element like 2's count is 2 3's count is 2 because 3 is exist like 3 is coming 2 times right so same approach since we have to find duplicates and over here we need to remove duplicates also we'll be using a hash map and whenever we encounter a duplicate we'll just remove it right this is the approach so let's see we'll take a hash map right we'll take a hash map and you can take a set also you can take a set you can take a hash map uh, you, you can take anything let's take a set then let's take a set so we have head over here right head will be pointing to the first node so we always like we do we take a current pointer and we store head value in it we initialize it with head right so current will be here so 5 is not in the hash map means it's not a duplicate node so we can add 5 in the hash map or set right we suppose if this is a set right let's not make it a hash map let's take it as a set so 5 is added <coughs> right now we again we move to the next element current comes over here 2 is also not in the set so that means it's not a duplicate node we can add it to the set right current right now our output is something like this 5 2 then current will come over here right now 3 see 3 is not in the set so it's not a duplicate node we can take it in our link list and we will add it to the set right now we come the current come over here so 2 is already in the set now 
this means that it is a duplicate node right it's, it is a duplicate node we will not add 2 over here because it was already present in the set right it was already present in the set so it's a duplicate node and we will not add it to the output link list we have to remove it so if you know how to delete a node from a link list you know right if, if you have not watched the video that uh, video link will be in the description just watch that and then come so we need to delete this link list this node uh, sorry we need to delete this node from the link list so if you remember if we have to delete a node from the link list we require a previous pointer right because we have to connect three to four now right that means if current is this current's next which is four that means current's next should go in threes next right threes next should point to two current current is over here current's next which is four so that three can be linked with four and two gets eliminated right now for this we require a previous pointer so we'll be we now get to know how we can approach the problem right how we can get to know that we'll be requiring a previous pointer by looking at the question you you don't know now that you will be requiring a previous pointer or not right it, when you dry run then only you you can get to know that yes a previous pointer is required because we need to delete a link list delete a node from a link list right so this is like this now let's again dry run so this is head right this is head we take two pointers now current which is initialized to head and then we take a previous pointer which is initialized to null initially right and let's empty the set now see current is here right current is at 5 car 5 5 is not in the set so we can add it to set and it will be in the output link list then we move to current move to 2 but before moving before moving current to 2 what we'll do is we will store current's value in previous so that previous now points to 5 and then we can move current to 2 right that means what we'll do is first of all previous will get the current value and then current next will be uh, sorry current will be currents next right that means fives next was two so that then we come to two right and let me do one thing let me just clear this right so current is at two previous is at five right now two is not in the set we can add it and we can add it to the output link list right so before moving current to 3, first of all, previous will come at 2 and then current will move at 3. So, current is 3, previous is 2. Now, current 3 is not in the set. We can add it to set and we can add it to link list. Right? And then current previous will move to current. Previous equal to current. Uh, so, previous becomes 3. And current will move to 2. Current 2. Now 2 is in the link uh, set. Right. 2 is in the set. Means it's a duplicate node. We have already visited 2 node per, uh, like earlier. And now it's a duplicate node. We need to remove it. So how we will remove it? We will do previous next. That means 3 is next. Connected to current's next. Which is 4. Current's next. That means current's next, which is 4, will now go to previous next, 3. So, these are connected now, right? And our current will come over here, right? And previous will not move. Previous will still be at here only because it will not go over here, now. Because this node is deleted now. Previous will remain here. So, at last, so current... 4 is not in the set so 4 will be added and it will be added to the link list and we get to the null like current is at null now so see this is our output link list right so I hope you understood how we approach the problem now let's see the code behind it 
right how to code it <coughs> let's see the c++ code first uh, and the java code uh, we'll discuss after the c++ code so the code is very simple right first of all we have taken a set right uh, this set we have taken and then we have taken two pointers current initialized to head previous initialized to null, initialized to null right as we had taken a, uh, in the try run right then until current is not equal to null we will check if we can find the current data in the set if it is in the set means it's a duplicate node right if it's a, if, if, this means that it's a, uh, it's it's in the set so it's a duplicate node then previous we need to delete that node right so deleting we did this previous next should be current next so previous next current next and delete the current node current node right this thing this is this thing find function is used to find a particular value in the set so scene is the set name find is the function and the, this value we, we are finding right and this will return an iterator right basically this returns an iterator and if the iterator value is not equal to the end of the set means we already found the value between set somewhere right then it will not be equal to the end of the set that means we found the value so it will return true and then we can go uh, like we'll delete the node but if it is not able to find any, uh, the value then it means we can add it to the set and previous should be moved right and over here you see uh, only when the value is not in the set we are then only updating previous if you remember when when the current came over here we did not increase uh, did not update it previous previous was here only we did not like made it to come over here or something because this node is deleted so when the node is deleted previous will not be updated it will be updated only when we do not find the duplicate node right over here and current will always be previous next or you can say current next anything right because current and previous are at same place but that will differ over here so let it let it uh, let it be previous next and at last you can return head right so this is simple code submit it and let's see the java code so it's submitted right let's see the java code so in the java code we had we have done the same thing we take we have taken a set right we have taken a set this and then we have taken two pointers current initialized to head previous initialized to null right then uh, we are uh, iterating we are iterating in the linked list until current is not equal to null uh, and then we are taking the current value and we are checking if it is in the set or not if it is in the set that means contains this will return true if it is in the set then we need to delete it right so for deletion we did this we have to uh, like execute this line previous next should be current next so this will delete the node and if it is not in the set means it's a new node and we can add it to the set and then previous will be in updated to current right previous will be current now if you notice that we we are updating previous only when we found a new value over here when, when over here when our see over here when our previous was here and current was here we did not increment uh, updated previous to come over here na? because this node is deleted so previous will remain at the same position when we are deleting the node at current previous will not update then it will be only updated when we are adding a new node and current will be current next return head let's submit it so the python code is also exactly same right uh, the link is in the description like all the three codes so that it's success uh, successfully submitted so i hope you hope you understood the problem uh, the time complexity is uh, simple like we are uh, we are having one loop right so it will be o of n and uh, the space is o of n again because we are using a set right so uh, 
time complexity is o of n and space complexity is o of n so if you like the video please like it please subscribe to the channel it highly motivates me and uh, please share with your friends and let's meet in the next video